don't forget it's all made up. And you and I, we are collectively making it up. Hey, hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by for another green thought from the greenhouse. I'm not sure why that's a green thought exactly other than I'm in the greenhouse. But uh, nature just reminds me that it's an, you know, it's an ongoing evolutionary process. And I love my plant friends. I love my non-human animal friends. But I especially love my animal, human, human animal friends because we can imagine and deliberately create. We get to decide how to love, how to be, how to, how to make the future. And that's pretty amazing, I think. Um, thinking about love a lot lately and how much people get stuck in definitions of what they think love is supposed to be and then resistant to it and uh, instead of just allowing themselves to smile and love, which love is an awesome thing that uh, the more of it you share, the more of it you have. It's an energizing energy, uplifting energy. So um, if you're feeling like love is depleting you, feeling like love takes effort, you might be doing it wrong or, you know, maybe you could do it differently. Maybe you can do it in a way that brings you energy, that brings you joy, that brings more love into all of our future. That's my two cents, my green thought for today. I'd love to know, what do you think of it? Do you find love makes you happy or love is frustrating? In which case, is that really love or is that expectation or, uh, you know, preconceived ideas coming from other people. I hope you're with me in creating a future with lots of love and in ways that makes us all happy. Let me know in the comments. As always, you can find other ways to connect to me in the description. And until next time, I wish you peace, possibilities, potential, progress, love light-heartedness, coherence, alchemy, and playfulness.